About a week ago, I received another malicious document. And when I took a, a look at it, so it was actually a doc file. The extension was doc, but when I took a look at it, I saw that uh, it was actually an XML file. Uh, XML with UTF-8 encoding. If you look at the hex dump here, you can see the sequence EFBBBF. Now, if you see that sequence at the beginning of a file, then it is an indication that the file is a text file with UTF-8 uh, encoding. So you can recognize uh, the XML. Now, this time, the XML file here did not contain macros. So if you look here at this property, w colon macros present, the value is no. So it doesn't contain macros. But it contains something else this time. It's uh, yet another trick. w embedded object present, this one is yes. So the value of this attribute is yes, which indicates that this XML file contains an uh, embedded object, so uh, an OLE object. So let's scroll down and we will find the embedded file. Okay, here you can see it. Bin data and the name of the file OLEdata.mso. So this is the base64 uh, encoding of that file. Let's uh, select it and uh, decode it like this. Okay, I copy it. I start a new file and I do a paste from base64 like this. And now you might already recognize this. This is actually the header of an, an OLE file. Let's look at the hex. You can see D0 CF11E0, with a kind of reads like a doc file. So this is the indication of an OLE file. So let me save this uh, OLE file. like this and now I can uh, have a look at it with uh, OLE dump. I'm going to use my send to CLI tool. Sorry. Like this, send to CLI. This is just a GUI interface for command lines. So this is the file I'm running only dump like this. Okay, and it contains one stream. So let's uh, select this stream, stream one. Okay, and you can see 00160000 zero, 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 and then 789C and so on. Now, 7.8 is often an indication of uh, a compressed, a Zlib uh, compressed stream. So let's try this out. Let's try if it is indeed a compressed stream. So I do a hex dump like this. I copy it and I take uh, again my clipboard transformer. So this is uh, the hex dump and uh, I'm guessing that this is compressed data. So let me delete this one here. And now I can use my uh, option here, inflate. Okay, and it worked, I got no error. So this is indeed a compressed file. And as you can see here, it starts again with a doc file. So this doc file, contains 
another doc file. So this OLE file contains another OLE file. So let's analyze this again. So in uh, my hex editor, I create a new file and I paste from hex text like this. And here I have again my OLE file. And here you can already see some uh, VBS code. So let's save this file. And let's have a look with the uh, OLE dump. Okay, and here we have a stream with name OLE 10 native. If you see that, you know that this stream contains uh, an embedded object. So you can select uh, this stream, that's stream tree. And here you have the exile ASCII dump. Now we know that this is an embedded object, so you can use option I to get the information of the embedded object, the metadata. So this is the name of the object file that was embedded, so it's a VBS file. This is uh, the folder where it was uh, located, and this is the temporary folder where it was saved to execute, and uh, this is the size. We can also view the embedded object itself by extracting it, that's with option E, like this. Okay, and as you can see here, it is uh, VBS code. This here looks uh, like base64, so let's try this. Let me copy it. A new file in my hex editor and then paste from base64, yep, and indeed it decodes as base64 and you can see that it uh, launches a PowerShell command. So after launching a PowerShell uh, shell, this script here downloads a file from this URL, saves it in a temporary folder with a .cap extension, then it expands the downloaded cap file to an exe file and then it runs the exe file.